What is that? That is the sound of a harmonica. Now this little uh, musical instrument was originally invented in China and it was called the Sheng. Uh, eventually the Sheng was brought to Germany when the Germans turned it into what we have today. Now this is a woodwind instrument. The sounds are produced by air passing across a reed inside the harmonica. So in this little harmonica, there is a top and a bottom. The top produces notes when air blows across it, and the bottom produces notes when air is drawn in, which is how you get notes by blowing, and different notes by inhaling, or drawing. Now I have with me two harmonics. I've got a marine band, uh, M. Honer. Now, M. Honer stands for Matthias Honer, who was the one to begin mass producing these harmonicas in the 19th century and reinvented them as how we know them today. And I have this marine band harmonica, which is made of metal, and the reeds inside are metal as well. And then we have this M. Honer blue ice. And this one is made out of plastic. The only metal in here are the screws that hold it together and the reeds inside. But everything else is plastic. Whereas this marine band harmonica is made of wood and metal. Now what this means is the marine band has a little bit brighter tone compared to the plastic one, which is a little bit duller. But now I want to explain how we have so many notes on such a little instrument. So, as I hope you saw in the close-up, on one of these harmonicas we have ten holes. In fact, they're numbered. One through ten. Now if you look at the board here, on a G major harmonica, which I have here, as this blue, plastic, inexpensive to mass produce harmonica, this is a G major harmonica. And so from 1 to 10, we have all these notes on the top are produced by blowing. And all these notes on the bottom are produced by inhaling. And so you can see as you look across this that we have every note in the scale of G major, which in G major we have one sharp one. Now the scale itself can be played from the fourth hole to the seventh hole. And that is done by blowing, inhaling, blowing, inhaling, blowing, inhaling, inhaling, and blowing. And it sounds like this. Now the shape of these harmonicas, or that major scale, you can find on just about every harmonica, except what changes is the notes based on what scale it's in. So for instance, this G harmonica, I don't know if you can see the little G there on the side, has one sharp, but my marine band harmonica is a C harmonica. I don't know if you can see that little C there on the side. So on my marine band harmonica, it follows the same formula. So these notes on top are the notes that are produced on the marine band harmonica by blowing. And the bottom set of notes are the notes that are produced by drawing. And so you'll be able to hear a very similar sounding scale from the fourth hole to the seventh. Now 
I think this is so amazing that, that the Honer Company and the other harmonica manufacturers, for that fact, have produced these amazing little instruments. They're so easy to just pick up and play. And what you can see by analyzing the notes that are available, we see that all the notes that are blown are a part of the C major scale. So the C major scale is C natural, E natural, and G natural. C, E, G. So no matter where you blow on the harmonica, you will always produce that major scale. Similarly, on just about every location where you draw a breath, you create a dominant chord. Now, this makes more sense if you have an understanding of music theory, but essentially the dominant chord is what is used in a major scale to pull us back to the tonic, or the one chord. So, if by blowing we produce the one chord, and by drawing between one, two, three, and four, we produce the fifth or the dominant. It becomes really simple to create interesting songs. really amazing because it is just eight notes repeated over across these ten little holes it's really easy to produce songs that are interesting and pleasing to the ear so grab yourself a harmonica and try it out <laughs>